This is FYI on your TV, brought to you by Hometown News. I'm Kathy Botham. I've got Erica Heeson back with me. You're the CEO of the Perth and District Union Public Library. Welcome back. Thank you very much for having me. Now, you've been with us at, on FYI as a regular for quite some time, even pre-COVID, uh, but mm -hmm. I really appreciated the connection we've made during COVID because we've, we've kept, up, kept up to date with you know protocols and procedures and, and, and how people can still access the library. So how's mm -hmm. it looking right now? Um, it's looking pretty good. We're open uh, for all of our regular services and programs. Uh, we're open at full capacity. Uh, the only thing that we're asking right now is that folks continue to wear their mask uh, until April 10th. And just if you're sick, to stay home and come back to the library another day when you're feeling better. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. Good advice. Good advice. Mm -hmm. uh, now, I got a hold of you originally for our today's uh, talk because you've got new mugs in, the, in, the, in your library as a fundraiser. Yes, starting on Friday, actually April 1st, uh, we have these beautiful handmade mugs um, by Ann Chambers. She's a local potter, Ann, Ann Chambers, sorry. And she's actually uh, donated her time and materials to making these to the library. Uh, so it's a limited edition and we're selling each of them as a fundraiser. They're um, beautifully gift wrapped and they're $40 each. And uh, yeah, they can be bought starting on Friday. We've already had quite amount of interest already in them actually. So I think they'll be snapped up fairly quickly. Excellent, excellent. So that starts on Friday. Mm -hmm. Okay, on April 1st. Okay. Now, I, I, we just went through March break. Uh, how was March break uh, at the library? Busy. Yes. <laughs> Busy. We had, a, we had a program every day for March break during the week and uh, between 20 and 25 uh, spots, depending on the, the program, and it was full. Uh, it was sold out. Um, I shouldn't say sold out, but because uh, they're free, but uh, every spot was taken uh, before the week even started. Uh, so it was really great to see that many kids and parents in the library. And, and you're such a wonderful resource for people too, you know, going through March break. And I mean, people look forward to the time off and everything, but it's, it's so important too, to keep the children busy. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yes, we like activities as parents. Yes, we do, don't we? Yes, yeah. Yeah. we like to get out and talk to other adults and uh, and make yeah. sure our, our kids are having a great time too. So, mm -hmm. I really like the the space you offer in your library too. It's called the launch pad. Yes, so that's a new space. It's one of the downstairs rooms. And uh, so essentially that's the home of our library of things. So everything that we lend that's not your typical book is generally part of this area. And then it's a creative space for you to come. You can book and use all of the equipment that can't physically move that easily. So we have a 3D printer in there. Um, we have a couple sewing machines. We have a Cricut machine. Um, so all of those, you can book the room um, for free uh, through our website and to come and use those and then take home whatever you've been working on. Now, this is just a personal interest question for me because a 3D mm -hmm. printer, what do people most commonly come in and want printed? Oh, um, that, there's a bit of a variety of things. Um, some people have done sort of more personal tokens that they're printing as a, as a project. Okay. Um, the teenagers have used it to um, print little action figures that they then did a stop motion animation film with, which was pretty fun. Oh, cool. uh, so it, it kind of depends. Um, but it's neat because, of course, as long as it fits in the box, you can generally print any shape you want and um, using it. So. And like, how long does it take for for a three D printer to? Uh, it can take a while. Um, we printed a little uh, Buddha that was about this high, mm -hmm. and I think that took about five hours to print. Wow. <laughs> so. Wow. So you are limited to sort of smaller things, but um, yeah, there's been a variety. Wow, well, that's uh, amazing. Tags, that kind of thing. That's amazing. Oh my goodness, when I think of my childhood and what kids get to do now, it's just amazing what they can do. <laughs> well, and the skills you learn yes. when using a 3D printer, I mean, sometimes the end product, you know, your keychain tag, oh, that's great. Um, but in order to create that, you design it in 3D. Uh, it has to work for the printer and then you'd have to take the time to print it. So there's a lot of different skills involved in using the computer, using the software uh, to making it the end product. Wow, well, that's amazing, that's amazing. Now you've got some great connections with, with your community too as well because you've got uh, um, a time for people to come in and it's called the Grief Circle. Mm -hmm. So the upcoming one is uh, COVID Conversations. It's a grief circle for all ages willing to share their COVID grief stories dealing with loss. Uh, and the intention is to simulate conversations to move through the healing process. Um, and that's going to be uh, run by our community members, Celeste Vermette and Laurie Clark. 
uh, and that starts on uh, April 7th. It's on Thursdays at 1130. And you can register through our website at perthunlibrary.ca. And that's a great support right now, too, because, you know, I, there's been support groups for, you know, people who have passed for other different reasons, you know, or, you know, people with Alzheimer's, people with cancer, that sort of thing. But because we're just mm -hmm. getting through COVID, th th this is great that we're starting to see some support mm -hmm. for people who have lost people. Mm -hmm. And I think it's it's not just lost people too, but it's also the things we've lost through the process. So connections and uh, opportunities, and, and it's also an opportunity maybe to grieve those things that have changed. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Now you've got another fundraiser going on there from the Friends of the Library. Uh, you've got greeting mm -hmm. cards. Yes, so um, they have a lovely selection of greeting cards uh, and the pictures have all been, uh, they're all of the library or the local community. They've been donated by three different local artists um, and it's uh, $5 per card or um, I believe it's $20 for a set of five. Right. Uh, I, and uh, that's yeah, for sale at the library. Sorry? They're for sale at the library. Okay, and they're pictures of the library. Yes, generally. Yeah. Yeah, just last night, I Googled uh, your library and I went into images and my goodness, your building is so beautiful. There's so many photographers out there that love to mm -hmm. take, take pictures of your building. All seasons, you're along the water there. It's a beautiful building itself architecturally, but you, there's so many pictures on Google of just your library. Yeah, oh, I'm impressed with how many people have taken them and then tagged us in them and posted them to our, our Google page actually. Yeah, it's beautiful. It is, it is really is, yeah, for sure. Uh, now, I always like to mention uh, the baby time uh, activities that you've got, because again, it's so nice for parents to get out and talk to other adults and, <laughs> yes. and, and see their children <laughs> having a good time too. So you still have those going on. We do. Um, so baby time uh, and story time start up again next week, starting uh, the week of April 4th. And they're both going to be in person. Uh, so you can attend in person with your kids, which is wonderful, um, but we're still going to continue to offer virtual options. So if you're not able to make it in because, you know, you don't have transportation or your child's nap schedule doesn't agree with it or they have a runny nose that day, uh, you can still participate. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I didn't ask you this question earlier, but I'm sure you probably have something going on for Easter. Um, off the top of my head, I actually don't know that we do oh, okay. <laughs> for Easter I, specifically. I um, was but, thinking I, I was talking to your other librarians last year and we had puppets of, of bunnies and things like that. So. Oh, okay. okay. Um, yeah, we, uh, we, we tend not to focus as much on the religious holidays, but we do have, um, we do have uh, Earth Day coming up and we're going to be working with the Climate Action Group uh, to do a... Um, I believe it's a scavenger hunt of some sort. So stay tuned for details on that one. Okay, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> well, this has been great. This has been great. I, again, starting uh, Friday, April 1st, you can go to the library and get these beautiful mugs. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing everyone come in and see them in person. They're beautiful in the photos and they really are lovely. And they're all different colors too. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there's four different colors to choose from. So if you get there early enough, you might get the color that you want for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And where are you located? Uh, we're at 30 Harriet Street in Perth, Ontario. Uh, you can call us at 613-267-1224 and you can find us online at perthunionlibrary.ca. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us again. Erica Heeson, the CEO of the Perth and District Union Public Library. Thanks for joining us again.